Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to share with you guys a story time of like just the crappiest experience that I've had with somebody that I worked with and then we will pop back into what was supposed to be the start of the vlog. one thing that I want to say right um there's this girl that we work with right and I remember when somebody else worked there before the other person used to say this one is very very toxic keep in mind the other one that was talking about this one that I'm talking about was also very damn toxic so it's only so much you want to hear from somebody who's already to toxic talking about somebody else who is also supposedly toxic right she said a lot of things about her but she also said a lot of things about a lot of people so everything that she said everybody would take it with a grain of salt right that one was no is no longer there so we're gonna call them um what are we gonna name these people i don't even know we're not gonna name them just keep up okay one was there before one is no longer there oh my gosh this looks like straight fruit juice let me see if i like it This is good. You know, if it's if it's not on Instagram, it didn't really happen. So let's try that. So in following up the story, one left, one is still there. The one is who is still there. Like her and I became a little bit more cool because I had her off for about a year because the one who left told me some things about that she said about me. And typically, I do not really care what people say about me because I know myself you know what I mean so normally if somebody says something about me it doesn't really affect me that much if any at all so um you know she's there and I'm telling her how it went and we kind of mended things a little bit but I still kind of had her off because I seen her do some things myself and the way how I am is I'm not gonna judge you off work like that based on something that somebody else said to me I'm gonna figure it out for myself like I'm gonna get my own feel of how you are as a person because I just feel like that's how it is okay um so now fast forward to a year later since the other one who left has not been there and you know today i just noticed that this one here is real damn toxic for real and today i really just had to tell her there is this girl there's this new girl that needs a job and she she worked there before and she keeps coming back and asking for a job and like dropping her resume off right the one that stayed keeps telling the manager because her and one of the managers are cool she keeps telling him not to hire the girl because she don't want to work with the girl listen it's fine if you don't want to work with somebody just tell the man to schedule y'all for different days or like don't if she's coming in this day whole day you want to come in half day or something like that but don't try to take food out of somebody else's mouth like don't try to take away somebody else's blessings and it shows that the girl needs a job so bad because she keeps coming back all the time and asking she's a little crazy i'm not gonna lie but she's work withable right Today I heard that some girl that they let go a couple of months ago, they because she was mad disrespectful, cursed out one of the manager, real ghetto, brought her husband to the job, or her boyfriend to the job to fight and everything, real, real ghetto. She used to smoke so much and her jacket reeked of ganja, okay? They fired her, but her and this one that stayed was very close, even though they just knew each other for like a small amount of time. Find on me. I don't care who you're friends with. If I don't like your friend, it's okay. I'll still talk to you. I just know that some things I'm not going to say to you because I don't like your friend or I'm not in favor of your friend, right? Still don't have you off. Anyways, the girl left and I, you know, they fired her and I realized that this one that stayed, all the time when the girl would pop by the store, she kept acting like she didn't talk to her. So one of the days I was at the register and the girl came in there and I was just treating her like a regular customer. Sweetie, you're not going to get no discounts in here. You don't work here anymore. And normally I will still do it if they used to work there and they left on like good terms or whatever just because the girl used to work here you know i'm just dealing with her like a i did not even look at her throughout the entire sale because i don't like you i'm very professional but i still don't like you and so she was up there talking to somebody else saying oh that one already knew that i was coming because i called her before i came however when she came in the store and called to that one that one was acting as if they're not friends, barely answering like below her voice and everything. And I'm just like, this is, she is real shady. Not because I'm here, not because we're here, who know that you already shady, does not mean that you shouldn't answer your friend. We already don't mess with you like that. Still answer your friend, that is your friend, okay? 
you don't need to act as if you and her are not friends in front of us but when we're not around y'all are cool y'all are buddy buddy because now you look crazy i mean you already looked crazy to us but why are you doing all that like you don't it's so unnecessary i feel like this story is so damn long god so today i just messaged her and i'm like you know I said, stop blocking other people's blessings. This is the initial message I sent her. Stop blocking other people's blessings. You never know what will happen to you in life or where you will end up. You have some conniving little traits and it's not cool. And I'm telling you as a friend. And you can screenshot this and send it to whoever. But one thing about me, I'll tell you things as is. I'm not hiding and talking. And she was going back and forth. I knew she was going to call me when I sent her this message. And I'm just like, I was prepared to tell her, listen, bro, just text me. And it went as I said it would. She started calling. So I'm like, text me. It's like, okay, since you don't want to answer, what are you talking about? I said, I'm just generally speaking. Yeah, in general. Stop blocking other people's blessings. Because she kept going back and forth to, to the manager telling him she don't want to work with the girl. And don't. And I told her to her face before, like, stop trying to block the girl's blessings. Not because you don't want to work with her does not mean that she doesn't deserve a job. You're messy. You're very messy for that. Anyways, long story short, she was going back and forth acting like she didn't know what she did. And so I told her that it's crazy that the initial girl that was there that said she was conniving and wicked, you know, we thought that that girl was wicked, which that girl was wicked. But I said, you're also like her. You know what I mean? Some of the things that she said about you was true. And you prove that every single day. And she's like, oh, you're comparing me to this is the second time you've compared me to her and whatever, and whatever, and whatever. And I'm just like, listen, I'm being completely honest. OK, and sometimes honesty is harsh. I'm not casually comparing you to her because it's fun. I'm just doing it because it is the truth. Like, you dog the girl out. She dogged y'all too. You know, y'all dogged each other out. But y'all are like, y'all are the same people, just in different bodies. Like, what makes you feel like some of the things that you're doing is okay? Like, that's not okay. And I will always be the person who will call you out in front of your face. And I'm still cool with you. I just got to tell you the truth and I have to tell you what's up. Anyways, this became an entire story time without names with some shitty ass people that I happen to know. And I feel like I just be knowing the shittiest type of people. And I, it's a blessing and a curse because honestly, I don't wanna be affiliated with people who are extremely shitty, but sometimes I feel like it is good because you know, you learn some things. You, you, you learn from them and these things helps you to like pick up red flags as you go along with it being a relationship or like a friendship because obviously a friendship is a relationship too you know what it allows you to pick up on some red flags like some people are just trash and the way how it's set up with me i will disassociate myself from you and still come to work and work with you and be professional like we're just not friends we work together we're just not friends and that's just that this is very good I need to thank my friend again. So now here is where the vlog was supposed to start. Hi guys, today was one of those days where I spent kind of all over the place. I woke up and I did a little bit of organizing, went and did my laundry. When I came back from the laundromat, I put away the laundry and then I um kind of took out some clothes that I had just sitting in my closet that I needed to hang for a very long time. And I don't know what, I never got around to hanging them. So. I went and I hung those up and then um, I slept. I was so tired, I ate some food and I slept because I was so tired and today was supposed to, today I was supposed to do a lot of relaxing. However, that didn't exactly happen. So when I realized that it was like 2.30, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm gonna sleep. So I slept until four and I feel so, so good. My manager was asking me if I could come in today and I'm just like, yeah, I can't do that. I'm, I'm tired and was asking if I could come early tomorrow and I'm like, no not doing that to myself because he wanted to make the schedule for next week and i already told him that listen i'm coming in one full day and any other evening that you want me and so far he's asking me for friday you know because it's the weekend and i told him that saturday would come 3 30 i'm off saturday as well but i just feel like i do not want to be there all day however me telling him 3 30 for saturday i know that um if I could go earlier, that would be good for him. So Saturday, I could just wake up like, hey, you want me to come earlier today? And he would say yes. Or if I just popped up, that would be fine too because it's the weekend. But I just don't feel like spending all of my day Saturday there. Um, no, especially because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being very graceful to my body because this week I was tapping out and I'm not allowing myself to get to the point where I feel extremely tired to the point where I feel like I just cannot go throughout the day he also asked me if i could come earlier tomorrow I said i don't know i'll see how i feel when i wake up 
you know, I want to, I want to still be able to live life in, in, I don't want when I'm looking back, all my life consisted of was me working, 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 and not doing anything at all. Even if it is just resting, I'm not going to burn my body out. So I look crazy. No, charge this battery. The other day when I went to the grocery store, I bought some wine, two bottles of wine. So my wine rack is, is looking really, really good. I have this bottle that my friend had bought me in <clears throat> February. I'm going to open now. This is a bottle of Sangria. Classic red premium blend with all natural fruit juices. I don't know how I feel. Shake and pour over ice, but it's already cold, so I won't need to pour it over ice. Um, so I'll just have it like that. <laughs> Definitely gonna have it in a wine glass because I would not be me if I didn't. Like, we live for the aesthetics. What are we doing? And I feel like for me, self-care be the smallest things. Like, Pour myself a nice little glass on my day off just to feel good. You know, that's it. I also keep stocking the delivery of the couch. <laughs> I also keep stocking the delivery of the couch and it's just not, it just got to New Jersey. And so it's not going to get here before the night ends. So it's definitely a tomorrow thing. I'm currently making some curd chicken. And, um... My friend made some dumpling last night, so we're gonna have the curry chicken with dumpling and stuff. And we should already have some rice in the fridge, but um, there's that. So I'm letting this like simmer slowly and like really cook nicely. But for the most part, that's what I have going on right now. I'm glad that I was able to be productive throughout this day and still rest. So I'm um, love that for me. Hi guys, so disregard the fact that I completely look like a hard-boiled egg right now. However, I wanted to pop in because I just spoke my head off and just completely forgot to end the vlog because I got so passionate about the topic that I was talking about. And then that's the thing with me. Sometimes it comes off very aggressive when I'm passionate about a specific topic, but I don't really mean anything by it. However, thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.